it. So do we have the right to be here? Yeah! yeah. I do Yeah! Sexual harassment and assault incidents have garnered major attention across the country over the past years. A new related controversy has presented itself in Fairfax County and is making its way to the Supreme Court. It involves a court case about FCPS Title IX policy pertaining to an incident where a student was sexually assaulted, reported it, and was ignored by FCPS staff. A decision by the court could set a a precedent for how future instances of sexual assault are handled by school districts. Students upset by these possible changes have taken to social media and organized protests to argue their side and make themselves heard. Lake Braddock Admin has expressed its commitment to investigating and taking every report of sexual harassment and misconduct very seriously. Yet students are still unsatisfied with these efforts and think Admin could be doing more to prevent sexual harassment at Lake Braddock. And this is what Lake Admin does, is that they don't take cases seriously, like to anybody, especially if it's someone who was assaulted by a student athlete. And this goes for everyone, basically. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, or how are you identifying, you will not be taken seriously at the school, not even just with sexual assault cases. So we're trying to put up an image of our school that we're a beautiful, perfect school, and that we've done all these things, and that we can't be held accountable for it. Hey, because, you know, we don't let it go. Like, we don't tell anybody that this happened. So we're trying to keep it under wraps, but then when the student body gets a hold of these things, when we actually do hear about it and there's, like, I want to say, like, an uprising or a protest, the school, this will happen, and then, you know, people will know about this, and then our school loses its image. I mean, not like we had the good image in the first place, but... Sexual assault is a major concern for many students at Lake Braddock. We spoke to senior Samantha Rinker about her idea for students to be safely heard. So me and another teacher who will remain anonymous for now are planning to create some sort of club or maybe physical box where people could put in papers about their experiences with assault in Lake Braddock. It has to be like related to the school, otherwise it's like if it's not related to Lake Braddock then we can't help. Um, but the whole point is to encourage students to speak up. A hearing on the case by the Supreme Court is estimated to take place in ongoing months. In a statement to FFX Now, FCPS has stated, quote, The question in this case is only about whether Congress intended America's public schools and the teachers that work in them to be held financially responsible for student-on-student -student misconduct that they had no way to foresee and did not cause. We believe the law should be applied the same way nationwide, and only the Supreme Court has the power to restore that uniformity. Unquote. The verdict made by the Supreme Court could set a precedent for school districts across the country that determines how liable they are for instances of sexual assault between students. Whether FCPS will win or not is up to the Supreme Court, and what these changes will mean for students everywhere is still to be determined.